Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here as always. Uh, today we're going to be doing The Ghost, again. Uh, this is the more recent version, Ghost and Phantom 2, set number 75357. This was originally released on Amazon in September of 2023, and I do believe you're able to get it through uh, the LEGO website and from the LEGO stores. So directly from Lego and Amazon only, uh, at least at the beginning. I picked this up at the Lego store last month, February, for my birthday. Um, this has 1,394 pieces. It retails for $160, and it comes with five minifigures. Um, you can get this used without the figures for about $70 on BrickLink. Or you can get it sealed for uh, about 133 uh, For some reason, people have it listed below retail, even though you can still get it for retail currently. Um, so if you want to swoop one up, if you see it, this video in a timely manner, go ahead and save yourself some money. Uh, although that does not include shipping in the prices, so there's no telling how much that's going to be. It might break up even or it might exceed retail uh, but later on in time once this retires um, yeah it's gonna cost more then uh, we have this and we are also going to be comparing it against the old uh, ghost which will also be including the original phantom one in that because I did the video on those prior to this one uh, combined because this is the Ghost and the Phantom 2. Um, let's go over the figures. We have Chopper with white body as opposed to the gray in the first one. Um, he goes for about $16 because he is new and all, all five of these figures are unique to this set because they are all new. Um, so I'll just say that now so I don't have to say it for each of them. Um, so Chopper's 16 bucks. You have First Officer Hawkins. He goes for about $11. We have Harrison Dula with Dark Brown Body. It's a new Hera. She's going for about 30 bucks. Starting, starting about 30 bucks. Um... Then you have her son, Jason Sindula. This is a brand new. We've never had a minifigure for him. And uh, the first time we see him is in the Rebel series. And he has uh, green hair, but they changed it to brown for the Ahsoka series, which probably just a lot easier to do. Uh, he goes for $9 and up. Just a few dollars more in the in that range. So starts at 9 and then all the listings are like maybe a dollar more above. And then we have Lieutenant Beta, who is $15 starting. Nice little Mon Cal. They don't have a lot of those. Um, nice figures. Uh, you only see Jason, Chopper, and Hera in the ship in the Ahsoka series. Um... Because, you know, spoiler alert from, you know, a decade later, uh, Kanan is dead. And then Sabine is running off with Ahsoka. And we actually see Zeb. I believe he's in a Mandalorian cameo. And he's off as a fighter pilot. So they... Oh, and of course... Everyone knows that uh, Ezra is gone. He's way out there, and that's kind of the whole point of Ahsoka. Sorry about the spoilers, but if you haven't watched it by now, yeah, that's what happens. Um, so that's why they included those, you know, secondary characters in there. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to see the Phoenix Squadron together in these series yet. You know, there is, there's still time to see a reunion in the future, which they might do. Um, so let's get into talking about the ship. It is 
really nice. Like the colors are great. I like all this, like the sand blue, the sand greens. It's very nice. A um, lot of details. You actually get these side panels here, the greebling. Um, the engines are really nice. You get some details on that. Um, this is a decal and it was a pain in the butt to put on, but this is printed, which, you know, I get why they didn't print on that because they use that for more than one thing. And, uh, that's just a, a part they have. So they just make a sticker for it. But putting stickers on curves is such a hassle. I, I really, I really don't like it. <clears throat> but, you know, see the details here. Really nice. On the sides. The proportions are a little better. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in comparison to the old one a little later. We have the... Come on, get off of there. There we go, we got the Phantom 2. Comes off. It's adorable. These proportions are fantastic. It uh, hooks on with this little... Uh, post and a little stud there. It fits nicely in here. There's not a lot of wasted space right there. Um, you can see the engines here. Pretty nice. You get that shimmery blue for the engines there. You have actual landing gear on it. Let's go over the Phantom here. We have an opening canopy right here. The whole front opens. It's really nice. You have a uh, brick-built sort of uh, seat in there. Uh, unfortunately, any sort of uh, like control panel is right there underneath that, so it's not like you can have the minifigure in there like actually with a panel in front of them. But it's small, you know. They did a great job getting all the angles and stuff they needed in such a small little package. You got this little back here. You got macro binoculars and a uh, blaster in there. It's pretty nice. I, I adore it. It's so good. And you get these angles with these hinge parts. It's great. Like, this thing is fantastic. It's so cute. Some decals on there, but, you know, not much you can do about the decals. Uh, these panels don't really do anything. There's there's nothing to see in there. Uh, these are kind of locked in place. Um, these ones go up, but, again, there's nothing in there. Bottom ones are flat. Uh, here's a little play feature. You've got this bar that goes across here. Let me see how that works. Which is neat, I guess. You're able to move it back and forth. It is pretty neat. Uh, the other one, the front blaster turret, was just kind of free, free swinging. This, you know, functionality. It's pretty neat. You know, that's, that's, there's a lot of neat to this. Um, these side panels are the exact same. These, which would be the escape pods, don't do anything. They're just there. Um, there's no moving features back there. The top panels, though, oh, here's the cockpit. It's not bad. You've got the controls in here is a um, Inquisitor lightsaber hilt, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if the front comes out. Oh, it does. Just like the first one, this comes out. You can see in there. You get those uh, two-studded jumper tiles as the spot where the figure sits. And uh, that's the little mechanism there. 
you see there's there's not really much going on in here put those back just clicks in and then the top here so with the last one which I'll show you didn't really get much of the inside of the ship here is much different so this is at an angle you kind of lift it up turret goes up and down this turret doesn't spin you you've got the opening area little spot in there it's just tiles no studs so whoever you put in there just sits in there um, but they have that because it allows them to have all of this removable and have basically a full interior there's not there's not really anything in here though that's kind of the problem like you've got two jumper plate tiles here which I don't understand what those are for there's nothing in the back here um, you have you actually have a little sink with a knob and a a spout you can see it right there and then you've got this little thing here which has a vegetable in it I mean that's a, a cute little touch but the inside of the ship is kind of just barren. It just sits in there. There's there's not really anything in here. Let's get that back in. Uh, you've got these little caution areas. Because that is... There's one there. And there's one there. So that is like the exits. Because on the bottom you have these landing ramps. There's one on each side. Which is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it It feels more authentic, but there's not much to do in there. But you can actually put the characters in there. So I'd say it's, you know, it's a 50-50. It's a really cool feature, but it doesn't do anything. And you can see all these gaps in here. There's so many gaps. Like, I don't know if you can see. You can see all the way through. See? My finger. You can see through those panels. Um, that's sort of the main theme of this build is there's going to be huge gaps. You you build on some weird spots. So like right there, that panel. Stop shaking. Like, look at this. Put your whole finger through there. Like the underside, you just see through here, through there. Um, there's nothing here. You lift that up, there's all that there. I don't know if this is supposed to be a feature, but I don't think it is. That's just a, a spacer there. But there's so many just gaps everywhere. I mean, at least here is, is paneled. Um, you don't have this huge little one stud wide thing in the back at least um you've got your flick fire missiles there there's there's nothing going on in the bottom which i understand this is a a play set so long as it's got some play features and swoosh ability you know the bottom isn't gonna be an issue but all in all there's not that many play features on here I do appreciate that we're able to see the inside. But there's nothing going on in there. And that just sits back on there. Uh, turret doesn't move, like I said earlier. So, it's cute. It's nice. Um, the proportions are really good. Details are nice. The minifigures, some of them are cool. Others are like, okay, I'm sure there's others you could pick, but I guess we'll get them in this. Um, Price-wise, $160. It's, it's a bit much. Um, 
But overall, I'm satisfied with it. This is this is a lot, a lot more of like a display piece. Um, let's uh, let's start comparing it to the old Ghost. I have it right over here on the other side. Set this here. So, if any of you have seen the video for the first Ghost, you'll. You'll remember that I couldn't find the Stormtrooper minifigure that came with it. Uh, I actually found it. I had him upstairs on the bike. Um, so this is when they started transitioning to the more droopy face. The helmet shape is mostly normal. But the printing is a little weird. Uh, the bike did not come with a set, obviously. Um, so yeah, so the Stormtrooper isn't quite the abomination that it became later on. Uh, but it, it, it's starting to get that way. So we have... All of the minifigures for that are in there, except for the Stormtrooper. So I'm not going to pull those out, because the value of some of those is very, very high. Uh, unlike the ones in here. So simply because these are new, a little less uh, high demand. The figures on that, you only get Zeb and Kanan in this one. Except, there's a little asterisk there. There was a convention exclusive up in Canada that had the Ghost Micro Fighter that had the Kanan minifigure in it. I just saw that today. So, unique to the set, Kanan. He's still a $300 figure. <laughs> Uh, so, price-wise, I'm going to be including the uh, 75048, the Phantom one, alongside the 75053 Ghost um, in these comparisons. So this, brand new, $160, comes with both of them, has five figures in it. This one, combined, uh, this was 90 retail and that was 25 retail. Uh, four figures, two figures. So combined, $115, uh, six figures. This has 1,394 parts. These combined have 1,163 parts. So they're not too far off. This one, I'm actually going to be taking this off the thing here and going around it. This one is like the main body. I'd say it's like a stud or so higher. Um, the tops are about the same. This is actually sticks up a little bit bigger because of the turret. Um, similar designs. This one's a little less wide. The proportions of the top. This is a hexagon. These ones kind of cut in a little bit. Um, this has more color. More detail. Um, they both have decals for that, but printed bubble turrets. Uh, this has more play features. You've got the hatch and door. You've got the turret that moves. You've got the little flap at the bottom. Uh... And both of these escape pods come out. This one has the front that opens that you put a figure in there. Um, it has the two side doors. So we're going to kind of chalk that up to the same as the, the hatch at the bottom. So play features are kind of even, but this takes it with having the two escape pods. Um, overall shape, I think this one kind of looks cooler because it has more angles to it for the shape. I, I'm not sure which one's more accurate. I'm leaning towards this one. This has more details though. You've got these side details where this one, there's nothing there. They both have the thing where they've got the top panels are at an angle, but the bottom panels are just flat. You see that? 
this one, look at the bottom here. This one also has some gaps, but it's not as atrocious as the other one. And you can see through there, but that's it. That's the only spot you can see through. Um, whereas this other one's got multiple gaps, so you can see all the way into the ship. Back here, this one does not have actual landing gear, and the engines are not that detailed. There's not much there. And you just have that one stud width there, and then there's nothing underneath. Nothing there. This one, let's take a look at engines. The engines, a lot more detailed, a little more robust looking, but also not much underneath. But it's not as sparse looking. There's some detail there. Um, Phantom, much larger. This one I, I feel is a lot more in proportion to the rest of the ship. So, and this does have landing gear. I would say these are pretty even. Um, considering this one came out 10 years ago, it doesn't do too bad. They hold, it holds up against the other one pretty well. Um, yeah, I would say these are, these are pretty even. This is really great to have because, you know... It was the first one, and then uh, the figures being as expensive as they are. Um, I wish I had the Phantom 2. I could have an actual comparison between these two, except that is ridiculously expensive, because it comes with Blind Kanan, which I'm not sure how much that one costs, but it, it is the only set that comes with, uh, so far, the only one. That comes with a Grand Admiral Thrawn minifigure. And I kick myself every day for not having picked that up. And I was like, oh, I already got the first one. I don't need to get the second one. I think that one was like 30 bucks. I, I truly regret not picking that up. Thrawn's a great character. <sighs> yeah, I don't think there's much else to say on these. Um, if you liked it, you liked it. If you didn't. Sorry about that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, ba 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 ba. I'll see you guys. Peace.